And then you also assert somewhere that um, there are other ways to resolve the black hole information paradox. Well, if there are, please post them because I have yet seen them. I've never heard any scientists speaking about this other solution whatsoever. And knowing what I know about the Bekenstein bound, I would highly doubt that there is such another solution. The holographic principle is the solution to the black hole information paradox. Johann and Ross blundered when he boldly claimed that the holographic principle is the solution to the black hole information paradox, because that directly implies that it's the only solution when it most certainly is not. Of course, it is easy to see why Mr. Ratz would blunder into highly doubting that there is such another solution, and then blunder into proclaiming that the holographic principle is the solution to the black hole information paradox because he likely knows that if there are other solutions to black hole information loss then the universe is not a hologram and his use of the holographic principle in conjunction with entropy to show the universe is not eternal becomes invalid and nugatory. This is because in order for the universe to be an illusion like hologram and for the holographic principle to be able to supposedly show the universe is not eternal it has to be exhaustive because if there are other ways to solve the black hole information paradox then the holographic principle is not inescapable and thus not fundamental. The first solution to the black hole information paradox is that information leaks out during black hole evaporation. The drawback with that solution is that it requires a large deviation from classical and semi-classical gravity. The second solution is that information suddenly escapes out during the final stage of black hole evaporation. The drawback with that solution is that it violates the Bekenstein bound. The third solution is that information is stored in a Planck size remnant. The drawback on that one is that it violates the Bekenstein bound as well. The fourth solution is that information is stored in a massive remnant. The drawback to that solution is that there is no attractive mechanism that could stop Hawking evaporation of a macroscopic black hole. The fifth solution is that information is stored in a baby universe that separates from our own universe. The drawback on that solution is that baby universes at this time have no empirical evidence. The sixth solution is that information is encoded in the correlations between future and past. The drawback of that solution is that it apparently contradicts the temporal evolution of nature. The seventh solution is the Penrose solution, which is the notion that loss of unitarity, which is the whole salient issue with the black hole information paradox, is not a problem since Professor Penrose claims that quantum systems no longer evolve unitarily when gravity is introduced. The eighth solution is the Hawking solution. Professor Hawking's solution is that quantum perturbations of the event horizon allows information to escape from a black hole. The ninth solution is that information is preserved because Hawking radiation is not precisely thermal but receives quantum corrections. This apparently solves the problem of the large deviation from classical and semi-classical gravity and is not allowing information to leak out from the black hole because quantum effects are taken into account. The tenth solution is that information is preserved because it escapes its Hawking radiation, but it comes out scrambled. The eleventh solution is the quantum entanglement solution. In this solution, quantum entangled particles always mirror each other's state. Annihilation of one particle necessitates the spontaneous creation of another particle so as to maintain balance. When a particle falls into a black hole, its entangled twin remains outside. Upon annihilation inside the black hole, another entangled particle is created outside which mirrors the original information, thus preserving unitarity. This solution does not violate the no cloning theorem since the new entangled particle is not created until the prior one is annihilated inside the black hole. The twelfth answer is the cross stoikovic vachaspati solution, which is that from the point of view of an outside observer, objects falling into a black hole take an infinite amount of time to reach the event horizon, where the information will be lost. This means the black hole completely evaporates before the event horizon is able to form and information is preserved and unitarity is not violated. 
The 13th answer to the black hole information loss is from Rodolfo Gambini, Rafael Porto, and Jorge Pulin, otherwise known as the GPP solution. They solve the information paradox by replacing classical clocks with realistic clocks which makes a fundamental mechanism for decoherence of quantum states arise. The rate using realistic clocks is rapid enough to eliminate the black hole information paradox since information is lost through fundamental decoherence before the black hole can evaporate. The black hole is in a superposition of different energy eigenstates. The density matrix has off diagonal elements. When time reaches the evaporation time, the density matrix element vanishes and consequently the state has decohered completely, which means there is no information puzzle to contend with on their explication. The 14th solution comes from Douglas Singleton, Elias Veganus, Tao Zhu, and Ji Rong Lin. They solve the information paradox by taking both quantum corrections and back reaction into account which then entails the black hole evaporating completely with the information carried away by the correlations of the outgoing radiation. The 15th solution comes from Bao Jing Zhang, King Yu Kai, Li Yu, and Ming Jing Zhang. They solve the black hole information loss paradox by building their solution on the principle of energy conservation where the effect of self-gravitation plays a crucial role and the spectrum of radiated particles is non-thermal. They conclude that entropy is strictly conserved during Hawking radiation, which means the entropy of a black hole is coated completely in the correlations of the emitted radiations upon its exhaustion. Their solution shows that information is not lost and unitarity is held in the process of Hawking radiation. The 16th solution is a generalized quantum theory in which a pure quantum state describes information in the whole space-time rather than that on a space-like hypersurface. This generalized state describes correlations between outgoing Hawking particles remaining after the complete black hole evaporation and ingoing Hawking particles existing before that, thus avoiding the information loss. And the 17th solution to the black hole information paradox comes from Hervorhe Nikolic of the Theoretical Physics Division of Rudher Boscovich Institute at Zagreb, Croatia. He solves the information lost by treating time as a local quantum observable and not as a global external parameter. Treating time in such a way avoids information loss through the correlations between future and past. Mr. Nikolic apparently resolves the prior failing of this approach, contradicting the intuitive view of nature as an entity that evolves with time because, articulating his explication, canonical quantum gravity lacks a fundamental notion of time evolution, which implies trivial unitarity of the theory at the fundamental level. Mr. Nikolic declares that time and evolution are emergent concepts defined with the aid of a physical clock. In general, such a clock time only has a local meaning and is represented by a quantum observable. Therefore, information present on a global space like hypersurface does not play any fundamental role. Consequently, even if observers living after the complete evaporation of a black hole cannot see all information encoded in the wave function of the universe, which can be interpreted as effective violation of unitarity for the observers, the full wave function of the universe still contains all the information and no fundamental violation of unitarity takes place. In this way, both fundamental unitarity and phenomenological information loss may proceed peacefully and coexist peacefully, which resolves the black hole information paradox. Johannin, in light of the many solutions to the black hole information paradox, it was incredibly ignorant for you to have not been aware of them and incredibly disgusting for you to have thrown the holographic principle around as if it was confirmed science or the only game in town for solving information loss. In fact, it really indicates that you closed your eyes to the other solutions because the holographic principle is like a religion of sorts for you. The only way you could not have been aware of all these other solutions is if you are that ignorant or dogmatically refused to take the time to see what other scientists were saying and what other solutions have been given.